Good morning and welcome to the Killick & Co Market Update. This week, the High Court in the UK has thrown out a number of legal challenges against the expansion of Heathrow, and it's now looking increasingly likely that the third runway will be built. According to current plans, it's due to be operational by the year 2026, and that will make it the first new runway in the southeast of England since the end of the Second World War. Now, this debate around how and where to add new airport capacity to the southeast of England has literally been going on for decades, and the situation is now becoming fairly urgent. Have a look at this chart here that shows how the volume of airport traffic in the UK has been increasing since the 1950s. And this chart shows that between 1980 and today, the number of passengers passing through airports in the UK has increased sixfold. And actually, this increase in the volume of traffic going through airports is certainly not unique to the UK. It's very much a global phenomenon. So volumes of airport traffic are increasing globally. And to us, there are actually two main beneficiaries of this. And those are the two main aircraft manufacturers. Airbus and Boeing. And in fact, this year, the first quarter set a new record for the number of new planes delivered. Between Airbus and Boeing, 311 new planes were delivered in the first quarter of this year. And actually, at the moment, there is a global order backlog for aircraft of over 14,000. So as it stands at the moment, the future opportunity for Airbus yeah. and Boeing remains significant. And this week there's also been an interest rate decision from the Federal Reserve over in the US. And at this point in time they have decided to leave interest rates on hold. The market had actually been pricing in a rate cut. And the reason for that was that inflation over in the US has been steadily falling since October. And it's now some way below the 2% inflation target that is set by the Federal Reserve. So have a look at the data here. You can see that from October onwards there has been a steady downward trend in the rate of inflation. And that signals that perhaps there is a lack of demand in the economy. And therefore, Donald Trump and the Federal Reserve have been thinking of ways to increase the level of demand. And cutting the interest rate is certainly a common way to do that. At the moment, the Federal Reserve has decided to keep an eye on the data and not to take action at this time. But the market is still pricing in a rate cut for later in the year. And theoretically speaking, if that does happen, it should be good news for equity markets. And a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the increasing use of so-called CBAs or company voluntary agreements by companies in the retail sector in order to force their landlords to accept lower levels of rent. This week, we've heard that Arcadia, which is Philip Wien's company and the owner of Topshop, the company is currently in negotiations with a number of landlords to try and reduce the rental payments on 67 of its stores. Now, these stores are responsible for about 11 million pounds per year in rental payments. Now, Topshop was previously seen as one of the bright sparks on the high street and to hear that this company is also struggling really does not bode well for the wider high street and also for commercial property funds that might hold some of these particular properties so if you have got any exposure to retail property in your portfolio please do give us a call now, looking elsewhere on the market and looking to the week ahead, we're still moving ahead with earnings season, and next week is a fairly large one for German companies. So we have results coming out from Venovia, Deutsche Telekom and Continental. That's it from us. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Friday.